Uh, yeah, it's true. I would have been a one for, for that specific burst combo if I had uh, if I had just cleared it because I would have gained one life from the the Zilliax too. I wasn't really considering the implications of Double Smite Mind Blast, I guess. class that Espionage is the best against because they have the best cards. <laughs> I always used to love uh, thought-stealing druids because they always had cards that were, you know, actually good for me to steal back when I was playing Priest. Then Jade was around and it was like I always stole, like, you know, Jade cards and I was like, this sucks. But now we're back with Jade gone that all the druids' cards are great, so... cards. Um, kind of just want to prep Sprint, honestly. Give me some sweet, sweet Druid cards. Ooh. I don't want a biology project him to have a bunch of extra cards. Eh, I'll just play a 5-5 five, five and draw a card. It's a pretty good turn 5. Draw 4, 5 cards, play a 5-5. Five, five. It's, it's almost like an ultimate infestation. Wind up Frog Convict. And then Sorin Corin Zen with the 2 year resub. Mono Mythism said I'll upgrade myself. You can win a game with Black Howl Gunspire. Ooh, I like that kind of challenge. I can prep fan dagger one of these as I play a giant Van Cleef. Next turn I can play Biology Project to give me mana, which won't influence him because he's going to have 10 anyway. Can I Biology Project into Valera next turn? No, I'll go to 7, then I'll go to 9, but I'll only have 8 available, so I can't Biology Project into Valera. I could have Biology Project this turn to make this guy even bigger, but it would have put him to, to 10 this turn. Alright. Hmm. We're definitely casting the biology project. Welcome to my I think we're just going to trade these two into this. I don't want to punch it. He's like clearly looking to either infestation or like Malagos. I don't want to take eight here. The question is just like what I actually play here. I can just play this into claw and to attack you. That's what I'm going to do. Make him a 4 4 now. Get me marginally more out of range. It does give me an you know, additional guy. Oh dear. Well, we have Valera. I can Valera into double backstab trade with one of these. I also have Valera into Wild Growth, draw two cards, only use the backstab to kill one, or save the backstab trade into one of these. I think I want to just draw extra cards. I don't think the, the, the backstab does very much. So let's Valera. You cannot escape the shadow of death. Ooh, there's Vanish. Okay. Alright, that's interesting. So the Vanish is really good. This is the whole reason to, like, you know, actually play Vanish in this deck with Valera, is to, you know, be able to dig yourself out of these potential holes. That's a lot of armor you just gained. Okay. I'm at 22 over here. 
have nine cards. We're definitely gonna vanish. If we play the Forest Guide, <laughs> he'll overdraw a card. Eh? I'm gonna double claw. So I'm up to 26, we burn a card. I can't play double forest guy, I don't, know, I don't have enough mana. We burned his twig! Okay, that's actually a really big deal. That's potentially actually very, very powerful. Because now he can't reset in a turn. He probably still can, you know, do a, a big burst combo with, like, Dream Petal Florist. We did just put, like, a bunch of extra cards in his hand, which makes it a little bit more awkward for him to do so, though. Okay. You can backstab both of these. SI SI attack this and play this. Backstab this into Minstrel. Another forest guide. I can actually overdraw him again, but then I can't kill both his guys. Eh, no, I can't leave this up. We could leave this up. I think it's probably better for me to just kill all this stuff, though. No, actually, I want to play another forest guide. Whatever. We'll overdraw him again. Eh, we overdrew an infestation. She's not really in a position to cast. He's already played both his branching paths, so spreading plague isn't that scary. Attack that, swipe this, punch it. Or spreading plague. Okay, and then swipe. Okay. There's a vile spine. With both his branching paths gone, these are much less scary. I need to find some healing or something, though. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> Forest Guide, eh? Gonna give me a forest guide card. Okay, so this he can Malagos me or something. Ooh, drew me a spider ambush, nice. Well, we got a lot of spiders. Um, I'm at 18. If he's a two cost Malagos, Malagos swipe Moonfire, Moonfire, I just die. And sap sap eviscerate. Certainly, just dead, unfortunately. Now, there goes the second swipe 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. He's actually off being able to kill me with Malagos Moonfire now. If he does have like Malagos Floop Moonfire, Moonfire, I die though, right? He actually can't kill this off either, so he's potentially gonna overdraw more if he doesn't play like multiple things. He can obviously Spreading Plague here. Yeah, maybe I should have traded off my 4 3 so I have room to play stuff. There's Malagos. He's gonna play removal. Okay. So I assume he has Floop. He's planning to Floop next turn. Spooter. File Spine. Yeah, he must have discounted the floop, so he has floop still. So I think we sap this so he turns this card too. And then we vile spine. Yeah. 
and attack him for 20. It's actually hilarious how much work Forest Guy did this game. Burning his swipe. Oh, the second Spreading Flake also burned. Thanks, Forest Guide. So he has Fluke, but he doesn't have a second swipe. He has two Moon Fires. That's only 12, 13, 14, 15 damage, including the Hero Power. Beetles, yep. <laughs> okay, so this does put me to three. So I die to his hero power if I don't somehow do something, huh? His UI got burned as well. I think we have to just, like, sprint and hope to draw Drew cards that save us. Do we Myra's? Alright, let's go. <gasps> Is this lethal now? Thank you, Forest Guide! Thank you! <laughs> Mwah. Exact lethal. All planned, I assure you. All planned.